One sunny Monday, four guys decide not to go to university exam. Arguing that they were, when they were on the way, I will let the car was punctured. They felt happy and lucky when the professor told them that they could, re that they could repeat the exam another day, although they would do it in different classes. The day of this exam arrived, and it, and it had only one question. Any guesses? The question was, which wheel of the car was punctured? Backings produce autism. False. This is the great example of fake news, our new movement created recently. Good morning, dear public and jury. My name is Jorge Salamero, and I will start my speech by positioning myself totally in favor of the topic discussed here today. The lie has its speech, but the truth has endurance. The story that I have just told you shows us the image of a lie. In the end, the guys didn't get away with a lie. So you know later, the truth is going to be known, and then it's when revenge and hate feelings comes. As it says, Karen Mayer, a psychologist of the Indiana Institute of Psychology. We don't have to go to the old side of Mississippi to find the best example. Let's look closer in our country. Let's look at any newspaper. Last month, a Spanish newspaper called El Mundo came with the following headline. Four young people die because of a game. This case is even ironic because this newspaper announced that game several weeks before. Fake news had become our daily bread. But what's worse, sorry, but what's worse, we have kind accept them, and that shouldn't be allowed. We can't do that, because I don't know about you, but I don't wanna be cheated. Pope Francis supports Trump candidacy. Walt Disney is frozen. Hillary Clinton, Hillary Clinton eats baby and prostitute children. I, can, I could keep saying fake news without stopping. Fake news are weeping our population constantly. But the problem is that fake news is a big problem. I know it's hard to believe that there are people that believe that such misinformation. Like Edgar Clinton Welch. He entered to a disco in Florida with a gun, and without further explanation, he began to open fire. The reason? He wants to investigate a pursued plot of prostitution linked to Barack Obama. But what Edgar didn't know, and probably you don't know either, is that Edgar was lied, and you too. In this sense, I have to say sorry. I lied to you. Yes, I did it, but because I wanted. And I'm saying sorry because the psychologist, Karen Meyer of Indiana Institute, is false. There's no a game that institutes a suicide. Pope Francis doesn't support Trump's candidacy. There proves that Walt Disney is not frozen. And obviously, Hillary Clinton neither is baby and nor prostitute children. I promise I'm not going to lie anymore. The truth is that you are lying to yourself. Yes, according to Oxford University, the world of the year in 2016 was post-truth. The post-truth described the totally distortion of a reality in order to create and shape a public opinion. What if all these papers, look at all these papers, this is lies. Lies which have broken our society, which have broken constantly our society. And also, they are according between us and the truth. But what happened? If all these papers were forgotten and we open up a new state with no lies and the truth going ahead. Can you see now the flow? Clear, no paper. What it means? It means that there are no lies. The society is not broken and the hate produced by the lies doesn't exist. In a society, in a crisis of values, such as ours, values add love and truth are not taken into account. And then, relationships are going uh, worse. For example, hypocrisy and infidelity. 
that type of relationships is similar to work. Yes, to work. Where strategies are making confuse the enemies. And you are the enemies of everyone. But we have the power. We have the power to, const to construct in the future a better society. So there was no lies, as I said. I know it will cost. But in the long run, all of you, every single person who are listening to me now, will change the future. And also, as you have seen, I'm doing it now. Thanks so much. <laughs>